Hope you appreciated that little cliffhanger just then, uh, having some computer issues and it's not letting me record more than a certain period of time. So we're gonna do number 24 again from the beginning without counting, okay? Two, one, two, ready and go, and Now, one thing that uh, occurred to me as we were doing that is that um, there's that moment where you go two slaps on four and, and then you go right back to the bass. And that's where you need to be pretty darn comfortable with moving out to the edge from either side. So slap, slap, bass, or left, right, left, right? So just being able to predict if you need to, you can go right, left, left. You know, sometimes people will double one hand but alternate as much as possible. So now, uh, a lot of times the question arises, um, uh, should I count out loud? Should I, you know, how, how important is counting out loud? Um, ultimately, I'm most interested in whether you can do the rhythm. Counting, I encourage because as long as you can count something, you'll be able to understand it and do it, and then you have the option to not count it. But if you don't have the option to count, that kind of means you don't have the option to fully understand, right? So that's why I encourage the counting. Ultimately, when you do your one-on-one -on -one quizzes, whether it's a pers in person or video submission, it doesn't matter. I don't care at all if you're counting out loud or not. I'm most interested in what your hands are doing. I'm most interested in the rhythm you're producing and the ease with which you are doing it. So I, if I can see comprehension in how you move, and you guys are experts at being able to spot uh, comfort and competence versus discomfort and um, uh, undertrained, uh, an undertrained moment. Um, I can see that very well, but in very small types of motion because I've been teaching for more than a, a two and a half decades at this point. And so I'm ultimately interested in seeing you comfortably, competently, accurately play the rhythms. Counting is just a, a means to an end this point it's the training wheels um, and it's training wheels that we put on and take off and put on and take off and keep doing that um, so now the last thing that we're doing here is number 25 and you're gonna hear me do number 25 uh, both parts you are going to practice it four different ways I'm gonna talk through that now so I'm gonna play player one and if you notice player one Basses, tones, slaps, whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, it's got everything. There's a whole shopping spree in this one. Both parts have it, have all those ingredients. So I'm gonna play player one, and you're gonna play along with me on your instrument, whatever your instrument is. And you're gonna make sure that you line up with it, and then you're going to, uh, then I'm going to play player two, and you do the same thing, you learn player two, line up with it, make sure everything's good, and then you're gonna rewind this video. And when I'm playing player one, you play player two, right? So that the two parts complement each other, they will be filling in some spaces, there'll be moments where they coincide and moments where they clash a little bit. And then I'll play player two and you play player one. Now the signal of whether or not you have successfully done it is gonna be at the end, three and four, or cha 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 because that's kind of like the style I was going for at the very end is just cha-cha-cha. Um, and so if you do that, regardless of which of those four versions you're doing, if you do that in time, 
you're in, in a good place, right? You may have made one or two rhythmic mistakes, but you haven't lost the meter. Now, here's another thing. I'm not going to count this. You are going to count. You're going to write in as much as possible, right? You know what? Maybe I'll be a nice guy. I'll count the first line. I'll count line number one. And then the rest of it, it's on you, right? So we're going to do player one. And again, you do this with me. And then when you come it back, come back, you're going to do player two on top of this. Here we go. 25. One and two and ready and go. And one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. back and do it again if you need to go back and do player two if that's what you're in uh, doing right now make sure you don't skip that step here's player two I'm gonna be counting the first line for you and you're on your own for the rest A one and two and ready and go and one. So hopefully that worked well for you. Now, those last three notes, the cha-cha-cha, those little symbols above the notes, if you're wondering like what are those, those kind of sideways uh, carrots uh, sort of symbols, those are musical accents. That's basically in case you weren't already accenting, accenting the slaps, make sure you're accenting the slaps. Um, you'll see them at the, in the last measure of 24. It's just a little extra thing um, Especially if you have musical experience, you'll appreciate seeing that. And um, it's not a super crucial thing. It's just a touch. Honestly, uh, as, as a musician, I almost need to see that there just to make sure that it's going to be played properly. Extra force there. But hopefully you got through that um, properly. Again, remember to uh, keep track of your perfect rep tallies, right? How many times have you been able to go through, in this case, player one um, and player two? And be successful with it and then if you can do it three times in a row and I'm, that might seem like a lot but if you want to feel good and confident that you got this and you don't need to really do much other than brush up on it before you have to do a quiz or, or some sort of one-on-one -on -one performance of it um, being able to check that three times box I did this three times in a row correctly is gonna be massively helpful because then you can just say I got this no need to worry about how good I am at it all right and I hope that was good, and I'll see you, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.